what we're going to attempt now is a little bit of putting red paint in the parking lot lock recess and making it turn out okay. First thing you have to do is put on your base color, which is black. And I put on two coats of black. Then I put on two coats of really heavy clear on this. The next thing I did was you go down to, to uh, any hardware store in America and you can get this um, auto touch-up paint. Bright red, says General Motors, and it's got a number on it, just like, just like your bike. And I don't care about the what color it is, but it's lacquer and it goes on thick. And then what you want to do is you want to put the red in where it says parking lock. The trick is you want to get the paint, and this is harder than it looks, you want to get the paint into every little angle this way all the way down to the end you want to get it in this way all the way to this side over here you want to get the paint in every little recess on this side and of course straight down in then you have to let it dry now what we're attempting to do here is we'll take thousand grit which is, sorry about that, which is right here, thousand grit, and I will lightly go over the red, and what I will try and do is take off all the red around that's, that's on the flat part, and not any red that's in the recess. Now this can work or it can't work. The only way you'll know is if you try it. If the uh, plastic mold gives you a, uh, a flat uh, canvas to work with, it'll work pretty good. But you got to remember that uh, it, you have to keep your sandpaper on the red because what you don't want to do is burn through the clear underneath here and go into the, into the surface color. Now as soon as I get this done and it looks okay, then I'll, I'll uh, put it away and I'll shoot the whole thing with urethane, urethane when um, I go to do that. If it doesn't work, or if you miss an edge, which is very easy to miss an edge, there I did this on my gold Honda um, glove box on the, on the bike. What you can do is you can repaint it, respray it, but what we're trying to do is to take away a layer of red and a layer of clear and not touch the black underneath. So I'm going to try that and we'll see what happens. This is what the parking lot lock looks like after it's been sanded down. One way I found in order to do the job right, if you'll notice, it kind of looks like blood, it's not. But when you start sanding the red, it'll show red. Well, once you go through the clear coat into the black, then all of a sudden it'll start to look like a dark cherry. It's not perfect, but it's, it's good enough for what I want. And now what I'll do is... Shh, I will um, save this. It's sanded down, and then I'll uh, urethane coat it. But that's what it looks like when you have depressed numbers and you put uh, color in them. After I... Uh, clear this whole unit it's going to look really nice so that's how you do that